conversations with our queens from across the world. They are entertaining, educating, with tons of passion. Welcome to the show, Queens Forever. Ooh la la la. A beautiful namaste to all the lovely friends from across the globe. We are friends now, where we get to meet all the beauty queens who represent their respective countries. As we all know, it's very important for the queens to promote their rich heritage and culture. At the same time, bringing cultures from across the world and being together truly makes this world a better place to live in. Today, we shall take you to the land of South Africa, presenting Miss MWI Netherlands. Let me tell you, she has a very strong heritage background. May we please welcome the lovely lady who is all of 50 and at this age with tons of experience, expertise, and an inspiration. Let's truly welcome Clarinda Swanepoel. A whole lot of welcome to you. How are you doing, Clarinda? I'm doing great, thanks. And you, Simran? Thank you, Clarinda. And on behalf of River Comics, V International, and in that TV, we are truly delighted to have you here. You're looking absolutely stunning as ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you look stunning as well. And that's so kind. Clarinda, at this age that you are already a queen, where people just don't even think of planning a career, when was the first time you decided you wanted to become a queen? In 2014, I was eight turning nine. I saw Raleigh Strauss on TV winning Miss South Africa and Miss World the same year. That's when I decided, you know what, maybe this is what I want to do. And later that year, I saw my mother's a photographer, so she works with beauty queens and things. Um, this beauty queen brought all her sashes, all her crowns, everything, and I doodled around with it, played with it. That's what I want. That that's when I decided, you know what? This is definitely what I want to do. I want to make a difference. I want to win sashes and crowns, everything. Oh, wow. They say, of course, you know, if you really want something, then have the right vision. So uh, here we already have your vision and you've already achieved quite a bit of your goals. So tell us, Clarinda, what was the preparation required at that young age? And how did you mentally prepare yourself? Or was it very easy for you because you knew what you want? Actually easy, not gonna lie. <laughs> It was easy, but the but the preparation for it is is physical and mental. Um, mental is okay. You need to you need to have that daily affirmation. Say, okay, I can do this. I'm confident enough. This is my thing. Um, physical is of course a healthy diet, <laughs> fitness, and a healthy mindset. That's that's definitely a very important one. A lot of uh, beauty queens promote mental health. And that is what he said, a lot to do with the mind. So how do you really train the mind to be well-disciplined? If you could speak a little bit on this, it would be really helpful to the masses. Don't focus on the negative things in life. Yes, you have a lot of positive things and a lot of negative things said to you, but focus on the positive. That's what makes you a better person, not the negative people's comments. <laughs> We all feel we all have our positives and not so positives in ourselves. So how do you really accept the not so positives in you and become positive about the not so positives as well? Basically, you know, the negatives always also make you the person you are today. That's how you can improve yourself better on the negatives. You can improve yourself, self-improvement. <laughs> so you consider it to a positive thing. At that young age, Clarinda, I'm sure you must have faced a lot of challenges. So what was the challenge you faced in 2014? challenge I faced in 2014 was I was called fat. <laughs> I was called fat a lot. That, that, that broke me the whole year until the end of the year. I decided, you know what? I'm not fat. I'm actually pretty. I'm, I'm actually very beautiful. The, the negative comments does, doesn't define who I am today. So why well, listen to them? So, I, yeah. <laughs> In a diet, of course, but yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. In an age of social media, and of course, where we all are digital, it's very easy for us to get carried away and to listen to people. But here we have a beautiful advice by Clarinda. So we're going to know more about Clarinda and her beauteous journey of being the Miss MWI Netherlands, but right after this super short commercial break. See you guys soon.
She's young, she's gorgeous, she's confident, and she's here to win the world. Welcoming Clarita on behalf of River Comics, We International, and you're watching us here on Indus TV. As they always say, it's queens forever, and our queen is extremely smart. Clarinda, what is it that really gets into for preparing at the pageant right now that you're representing your respective country? Please tell us about your schedules right from morning to evening so that we all get a bit of, uh, you know, light on the day spent, uh, you know, for the preparation in a beauty queen's life. Yo, <laughs> my schedule. I'm preparing for this pageant that's coming up. I go to the gym in the mornings for like two hours. It, it's only to like stay fit in the morning. Then I go um, to eat, brush my teeth, get some study work done because that's really important. <laughs> um, then it's family time. Family time and friends time. That's really, really important to stay in your, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. You're fine. You can do this. Um, and then go to sleep at that. And then it's the same routine over and over until we, oh, and to run charity events as well. Every week or two times a month, that's, that's important. And then that's the same cycle. <laughs> this is unbelievable. At this age, how do you really manage with your studies? And you do some great philanthropic work as well. Has it ever been that you are a part of a pageant and you live for the real sales and you actually... Um, it's the real sales carrying your book and reading your book. Has it ever been that way? Because then you are also in high school, so you need to manage both. Has it ever been that way? No, it has never been that way. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be that way next year because next year is um, grade 11 and that's a really, really important year. <laughs> so maybe next year, but it hasn't happened, fortunately. Wow. I must say that you're simultaneously extremely intelligent as well. And I like the confidence that you have. So Clarinda, tell us, um, beautiful queens, you know, who you've been inspired from. We really want to know what really made you, you know, come up so well in life at this point of time, so early at this age. So who were the beauty queens that inspired you? Natasha Yubar, Trin Strauss, and Demi Litabau. Demi Litabau won Miss Universe and Miss South Africa a couple of years back. Um, and she's, and I started following on Instagram and the things she does for the less privileged and everything is really inspiring. That's, that's what I want to accomplish one day. Natasha Yubar, she's more for women empowerment and that's what I want to, I want to show this um, today's society, you know what, I am for women empowerment as well. I want to empower women to be the best they can be. And Natasha Yubar, uh, <laughs> And Erlene Strauss is just really, she's gorgeous. She's really gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Very, very interesting. Please share with us. You are already doing so much in philanthropic work and doing something to spread women empowerment. And we know for a fact that Clarinda does a lot of charity work. So what sort of charity work do you indulge in so that people could also get into doing something for humanity? Last year, I gathered, I had a fundraising for sanitary pads and canned food. I had a little food drive for canned food for the less privileged um, children and clothes as well. I'm now going to, I'm now busy organizing two events, a wine tasting and a children's ex uh, event for fundraising for charity um, organizations. Wow. That's incredible. Let me tell you something very, very amazing. I want you to get back to that beautiful nostalgic moment when you were announced the beauty queen and crowned. Please share with us how was that lovely moment? Yo, it was, it's an unexplainable feeling. It was amazing. Um, before the crowning moment announcement, I was standing there stressing my cheeks off. <laughs> Um, and I was looking at the one finalist, um, winking at her, smiling at her and telling her, okay, we can do this. Um, I looked down and I looked up and when he announced my name, Clara, not vulnerable, that's that your, I got chills everywhere. I heard the crowd cheering. I had the brightest, biggest smile from cheek to cheek. It was really amazing. 
what I remember through that moment was me just like smiling the whole time, <laughs> looking at the crowd, like smiling, the crowd smiling. It was it was really amazing. We felt this beautiful moment, the crowning moment of our lovely queen, and we talk much more about a lovely journey as a beauty queen. But right after the super short commercial break, see you guys soon. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for We International Founder, President, Chairman, Mr. Bharat Guradia. Bollywood. Welcome back, and we are here with Miss MWI Netherlands. And the lovely Queen Clarinda Svenopol is here with us. Clarinda, what a beautiful moment, the crowning moment that you spoke about. Every time, every time when you wear the crown, do you feel there is some bigger responsibility? Or do you realize I need to really pump in more time and give in something more to make this world a better place? every time you wear the invisible crown or when you're wearing the crown. What is the responsibility that comes to you with the crown? One thing you need to remember when wearing this crown, everyone is looking at you, everyone. So you need to act like you're, <laughs> you need to bring out the best you can be, be the kindest person, sweetest person, have manners, help others, treat others the way you want to be treated. It is, it is it's very, very important. You have a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Lovely. How important is it to have support of your family at this point of time, you know, when you're really growing at the same time, realizing, you know, how important winning is the way you carry yourself? How important is a family's role? When you go to a pageant, you feel confident enough in everything, you meet everyone. But if you don't have that support from your family, you feel like, okay, I'm going to lose this. This is, this is not my thing. Um, you the support system, your family support system is like, it's top priority. Everything should be perfect when it comes to them. They they make you feel, they, they boost your confidence a little more and they make you feel loved and you, you, and then that you automatically have the confidence to stand on stage, smile at them. I mean, you're only on stage to look at them and smile, wearing this beautiful dress or this beautiful swimwear, having this awesome interview. That's, that's it. Yeah, this is lovely. Amazing knowing this from you. I'm going to take you towards something very interesting. And, uh, you know, you're young and you're very intelligent. So we'll start with some rapid fire questions. Can we get started? Yes. <laughs> yes, we can. All right. My first question to you is uh, something very simple. We all form really fond of uh, foods which aren't that healthy. Which is your favorite food that you have to give up on? at the time of the pageant or sometime before the pageant? What is that favorite food? Before the on? pageant, I needed to, needed to give up my pizza. <laughs> pizza and burgers. It was like awful. <laughs> Lovely. Was and what's the first thing you ate after you wore the crown and after you won the pageant? What's that first thing that you ate? Steak. <laughs> One big steak with mushroom sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful that's really interesting i really want to know what was the toughest round for you at the pageant interviews that was the toughest round i get so nervous and so sweaty then i get uncomfortable and i'm like okay <laughs> sure if you have to do makeup in five minutes clarinda how would you go about you know doing your makeup i know you don't need one naturally gorgeous but still 
I would use mascara, clear lip gloss, and a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and that's it. <laughs> Wonderful. That's hardly two minutes. I like that. Amazing. The winning mantra, as for you, according to you, what do you think is a winning mantra to truly be a winner at a beauty vision? In a world of over seven, 7 billion people, there's only one of you. So be unique, be confident, be sassy, be classy, be you. you you got this. You've got this. <laughs> Wonderful. What is your favorite color for the swimwear round? Swimwear round, black. Swimwear and evening wear, it's black. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to take you on the romantic front. And if you had to date, a superstar of any country, it could be any of your favorite superstar or a celebrity. Who would you like to go on a date with and where and why? Yo, any country, any country would definitely be Tom Holland. Definitely. <laughs> it's just his smile, his dimples, everything. Oh my goodness. It's. <laughs> he's really hot that's interesting I can see that excitement in your eyes wow <laughs> amazing who would you like to thank for for winning the crown who would I like to Yo, Andres de Priya Andres de Priya he's a, he's a real sweet soul strict but sweet <laughs> he's, he's really he's something else he's an amazing person Definitely, Andre. If you have the superpower, Clarinda, to heal the world, which superpower do you think you would like to have as a beauty queen with a magic wand in your hand and things would just happen the way you want? What would that be? Yo, I would say world peace, but solve any, any, any racism, any, you know, basically world peace. Anything that falls under world peace, that would definitely be it. And I'm going to ask you about your favorite story, which has been all-time favorite story, or your famous, or your favorite comic? My favorite story would be Snoopy and Charlie Brown. <laughs> wow. it's, it's really cute. <laughs> That's really interesting. So I have something for you, Clarinda, and the entire world out here. All we have to do is download the app River Comics and truly find all the beautiful stories out there, which is in the most interesting manner. It's magnificent. And of course, at the same time, you can sit with your loved ones and enjoy all your favorite stories on River Comics. And it's for free as well. So I'm gonna to request to you as well as to everyone to kindly download this app. And now we have a surprise for our lovely queen, Miss MWI Netherlands. Let me please invite our number one promoter of art and culture. He's renowned across the world and put up at United States of America. May we please welcome Mr. Bharat Goradiyaji, who shall be here to meet our lovely queen and raise a question for her. Hi, Clarinda, how are you? Hi, fine things in you, Mr. Bharat. I'm very, very happy after seeing you, a young, beautiful <laughs> face, a young, beautiful, talented, rather multi-talented uh, girl who is a title holder. Uh, no, it's always a pleasure. Anyway, uh, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you on behalf of our sponsor, River Comics and We International, to one of the finest uh, talk show called uh, Queens Forever. Uh, very hearty welcome once again, Clarinda. Uh, I just want to ask a very simple question. Do you believe that once a queen, queens forever, Yes, I do believe once a queen, always a queen. It's basically, if you feel you're a queen, if you believe you're a queen, this is this is your world. This is your runway. Walk it. This is you have an imaginal. You have, you can imagine this crown on your head. You need to be treated like everyone, like you want to be treated. It is really your yeah, once a queen, always a queen. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, a wonderful answer, an amazing answer from a young girl who is hardly 15 that got 
four or five titles with you. We, we are really, really privileged to have you. Uh, once again, on behalf of our sponsor, River Comics and V International, uh, we are extremely thankful to you for sparing your valuable time, sharing your experiences and making us privileged with your wonderful tips to all the young girls who have just entered the team to how to become a title holder. So thank you so, so very much. Uh, wishing you all the very best in all your forthcoming projects and see you very, very soon in USA. And God bless you and go and getting more and more titles, not only for you, but for your country and for all of us. Thank you. I just want to thank you, uh, thank River Comics, Mr. Bharat, Indus TV and Simran for your precious time having me on your show. Stay blessed, stay safe. That's all I have to say. Thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you so very much. Lots of love from Clarinda to the world. And Clarinda is an inspiration to all those teens. So Clarinda, before we leave, what is that one message you'd like to give to all the teenagers who really want to become like you? Believe in yourself. Always have that, that self-confidence is really, really important. You are the, you are her, you are him. You can do this. This is your runway. Yo, just believe in yourself, be confident. As I said, be sassy, be classy, be you. Marvelous. So with this beautiful sentence, be classy, be sassy, be you. We're going to truly thank you all to truly enjoy the show Queens forever. And of course, if you are the one who's truly looking forward to wear the crown, start dreaming big right now, right away. We are here to give you interesting stories, yet another country and another beautiful queen. Look forward to meeting you in our next episode. Till then, take care and God bless.